Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop. You know, it has been 18 months since Detective Sean Shooter was killed in West Baltimore. And it was a homicide. And then an independent review board thought it was suicide. It's been back and forth ever since. It's resulted in a fight on the streets into the offices downtown. WMAR 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler is here now with some movement on this case. Brian. Jamie, with a new police commissioner and new police leadership comes a new set of eyes. It appears the confounding death of homicide detective Sean Suter is a, about to get a new look. It's been a year and a half. The lot off Bennett Place where detective Sean Suter lost his life is now overgrown, neglected, much like what his family says is the investigation into his death. But today, renewed interest. This is definitely good news. I think both myself and Sean's family are cautiously optimistic. Optimistic because Souter attorney Jeremy Eldridge and the slain detective's family have been told that stale investigation might get another look. The Baltimore Police Department and the Maryland State Police confirm that both agencies are in the early stages of taking a fresh look. In a statement to WMAR 2 News, MSP says, quote, there have been preliminary discussions about Maryland State Police and the Baltimore Police Department conducting a joint review of the case. Eldridge says those discussions came after a recent meeting between himself, Souter's widow, and Commissioner Michael Harrison. We discussed an agenda that included not only the benefits, but included reopening an investigation. And before I could even ask about that, Harrison already had a plan about what the Baltimore City Police Department was going to do with a fresh set of eyes and a clean pair of hands. A clean pair of hands is crucial, Eldridge says, as he believes the department never fully investigated what he calls the murder of Sean Souter. The Souter family believes an independent review that reached the conclusion of suicide last summer was faulty at best, that detectives didn't fully vet credible tips that challenged that theory, including a tip by a federal informant who was able to describe Souter's murder in a recorded interview. Suicide, Nicole Souter first told us, was never the answer. It was BS to us all. It's unbelievable. Sean would never leave his family like that. Like I said before, he moved mountains for us, so I know he wouldn't just up and leave us like that. It is unclear what a joint review would look like at this time. It is still in the preliminary stages, but the Souter family is hopeful. Currently, the medical examiner continues to rule Souter's death a homicide, but Eldridge says it is still not classified as a line of duty death by the BPD. It is that indecision currently, he says, preventing the Souter family from receiving any state or federal benefits.